Now, before I start this video, and if you don't want to hear any of my announcements, you could just skip ahead to this part and hear me tear this feminist a new asshole. Now, first of all, I finally gotten my first paycheck from the job I work in. I have somewhere around $400 now, and I plan to buy a few things that will help me improve my YouTube channel. For example, a new microphone, a camera along with a cheap shower curtain that acts like a green screen, and maybe a few lamps as well. Another thing is that I'm very ill at this moment. I'm recovering pretty fast. I managed to buy a couple of ramen noodles. They are like two for 89 cents, which is a good deal if you ask me. Now, I'm planning a special video on my birthday, which is on September 16th. But it won't be uploaded on my channel, but instead it will be uploaded on Undoom's channel. So, in case you guys are wondering who this guy is, just check the link in, in, in the description to find out more about him. He's a pretty cool guy. Anyway, originally I was planning to make a video response to this girl who basically says that rape jokes aren't funny, therefore no one can make a rape joke as one of my video specials. However, it just seems too easy for everyone, and quite frankly, it's just not good enough. I have to aim for someone who is ha, who has a larger channel than I have, and could even make a video response to me. I'm talking about Moist Rebel News, aka Jason Unruh. And plus, this seems to be part of the Gamergate topic, so of course this will be a video supporting Gamergate. Now that's out of the picture, let's get this video response over with. Hey guys, it's Mel, and if you read the title, well, first of all, congratulations, you are a literate human. Wow, only about six seconds in and I already hate you. Is this really something that's even worth celebrating, Walt? Yay! You can breathe oxygen! And second, you know this video is going to be about feminism. Oh no, no, I, I thought we were going to talk about ass and titties. All right then. Before I talk about feminism though, I want to talk about something real real quick. Um the Meminist account on Twitter. I feel like I feel like that needs to be addressed. A feminist talking about feminism. How could this go wrong? So if you aren't familiar with the Meninist account, uh, maybe you don't have a Twitter or you just haven't heard of it, whatever. The original account was started by these two guys and they originally just were posting kind of jokes about feminists and mocking feminism. And it's kind of spiraled into like, they make kind of jokes about abusing women, jokes about raping women, and just belittling women altogether. Oh yeah, it's not like feminists never make a joke about men- Oh wait a second! They have- a million followers and a lot of the tweets get thousands of retweets and favorites it's almost as if these people actually think that the minimus twitter account is actually funny so they have a lot of influence and in, i guess in the twitter world even if you aren't like a feminist even if you're completely anti-feminist the fact that they make rape jokes is like why would you support that rape because some rape jokes can be funny? Rape isn't funny. I mean, I've never been raped, thank God, but I'm, I'm guessing if I was like a rape victim, I, would, I wouldn't be laughing at these people mocking something that I suffer with. Like, you don't get to speak on behalf of all rape victims. There might be rape victims that actually do enjoy rape jokes. Hell, they even make rape jokes themselves. And you get to speak on their behalf because... That's one in seven women are raped. One in 33, I think, men are raped. Well, thank goodness you're not using the one in five statistic. But even then, one in seven, that's still pretty fucking high. And that's a lot of people that you could offend. That's a lot of people you, you could trigger. And it's, it's just... It's not funny. Oh no, we're going to end up triggering folks. Oh, the humanity! Again, you do not speak on the behalf of all rape victims. Let's just put this into account. We're going to trigger some people. But being triggered doesn't mean jack shit. It doesn't validate anything. If you do not like the joke, you can simply ignore the joke. You know, instead of being a big wuss about demanding that old jokes you don't like should be banned. 
we're going to end up triggering folks because this is what humanity has come down to. People get triggered by putting on clothing and showering. So if we were to ban rape jokes, why not go any further? Let's ban murder jokes, death jokes, stealing jokes, eating certain food jokes. If we were going to do that, then the only jokes we're allowed to do uh, or allowed to make are those stupid knock-knock jokes. Knock-knock, who's there? Joke. Joke who? You are a fucking joke to humanity! Rape and joke shouldn't even be in the same sentence unless you're saying rape is not a joke. You know, there's a type for you and it's called being a stick in the mud. And the thing is, they sell these shirts and sweatshirts that have like hashtag meninist on them. Congratulations, you're going out in public showing people that you're a piece of trash. Oh yeah, and you're totally not scum for wearing this t-shirt. Oh wait a second! Like, I've never gone out anywhere and seen someone, like, wear this shirt. And it's a good thing I haven't, because I don't know what i do. You know what? You just gave me a brilliant idea. I should wear a Minimus t-shirt and go to Times Square and then walk around to see how many feminists I can piss off. Like, I see people on social media all the time, like, pictures of people wearing them. And a lot of them are girls. And it's like, what is your problem? You are paying these two guys, these two idiots to make fun of your own gender. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not like there's any jokes about me- OH WAIT A SECOND! I just don't get it. And people have used the, oh it's just a joke, it's just sarcasm. No, it's not just a joke, it's not sarcasm because here, here's the thing. By making these jokes and making it seem like it's okay to like abuse women and make fun of women, like some young boy could be on Twitter and like reading those and think, oh that is like really okay. WHAT?! Oh yeah, because apparently a 12 year old boy is going on Twitter seeing these jokes saying, Jeez, these jokes are funny! Ha <laughs> Dear Lord, think of the children! Using children as your shield once more. Feminists like yourself could not go any lower than you already have, and if you could, you would end up being every country's enemy and going on a nuclear war against your kind! And go out and do like I don't know what the even if the account was not making rape jokes and just mocking feminism, I don't understand why feminism is so terrible. Oh jeez, I wonder why. Like I'm a feminist. I'm proud to be a feminist because feminism is a movement to empower women so that they can be equal to men. Ladies and gentlemen, your brain on feminism. People, a lot of people have called out people and said, "Oh, these feminists, they think." that uh, women should be better than men. No, that's not feminism. That, my dear, is what we call a no to Scotsman. That is misandry, so that's, there's, a, there's a difference there. Because feminism and misandry can never overlap at all. Feminism is about gender equality. Who wouldn't want gender equality? The white nationalists and Christian conservatives, just to name a few. A lot of the argument against feminism is Oh, well, we don't need it anymore, you know? The the feminism now is just white girls complaining about dress codes and catcalling. And that is so not true. We don't- Oh, bless you. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Huh. Funny on how that works. Need feminism? Okay, well, I, I'm here to inform you that there are countries where women still can't get an education. So that's- that's what feminism is for. Yet the majority of focus within the feminist community is within the first world. AKA America. Maybe if you look past the privilege of living in the country that you live in and see that there are places that still need feminism. And this is also translated to these people need the gospel of Jesus Christ. And even in America, like things are not always equal. Some people, some women don't get paid as much as men and- I am not going to debunk the wage gap myth again! This shit is getting old! There's a lot, there's a lot of problems. Even something as simple as dress codes or people are like, oh, people are overreacting, like, there's a, there's an issue, like, with looking at a girl and saying, oh, well, you have to, you have to cover up more because you're gonna distract this guy. Like, that's saying that guys are more important than women, which- Why the fuck do you even get this ideology? The reason why they're saying this is because, guess what, you need to dress a little bit more conservative and less like a freaking slut! Which is inequality, which is what feminism is trying to get rid of. These people are 
are expecting you to dress more conservative. They're not making you wear a suit and tie. If you just dress the way you want, then you're not learning anything. That is the point of school! I'm not saying you have to be a feminist, and if you're not feminist, you hate yourself. I understand that there are different opinions, there are different sides to it. Some people say that it's too much of a label, like the word feminist or whatever, like my girl Shay, Shailene Woodley, doesn't consider herself a feminist. And I realize that there, there are different opinions. All I'm saying is just the men in this account don't, please don't support them. <laughs> because think of the children, think of the children! I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.